Life in Africa has been, it's been amazing. It's been a vibe lately. I've taken a break from YouTube and it was not long, well, maybe like two weeks, guys. Um, rest is required when you're creating anything. And that is what I love about my life here on the continent. I get to rest, I get to live, I get to vibe, I get to rest, I get to mother, I get to love, um, I get to be. And um, in this video, I want to address the things that are keeping people stuck. Because I, on my rest, I still got emails from folks and um, you know, comments. I see you guys are thinking of me, wondering if I'm safe and if I'm okay. And I'm okay. I'm great. Um, back in Joburg, loving Joburg. And there's a lot going on all over the world. And there happens to be a lot going on here on the continent. And while I was, um, I'm taking a break, right? There was a lot happening in West Africa. The BRICS conference was happening, the BRICS, BRICS summit. Um, there were a, some natural disasters, a horrific fire um, here in Johannesburg, earthquakes in, in North Africa. I mean, there's been a lot going on. And while my heart is with those loved ones of family members that have been lost, my heart, my spirit, my soul cries out um, that they find peace in this time. I am not an expert on natural disaster, world disaster. Um, and I recognize that this is what the mainstream media loves to share about this continent are these horrific moments, these moments of sadness, grief, pain, and loss. And they are that. Um, and what happens is you in the West see these events happening and you're able to get confirmation around the fear that you internally hold within um, your thoughts about Africa. And that fear is keeping you stuck. It's keeping you stuck in systems, environments that you know are uncomfortable for you, that you know are not meant for your highest good, that you know that you cannot prosper or self-actualize in the way that you truly desire you know these things. And so when something comes up on the news and the media about something horrible that's happened in Johannesburg or something horrible that's happened in Morocco or the fact that young Africans are retaliating uh, against neocolonialism and are saying we want our country to prosper and thrive and with these folks in leadership used as puppeteers from colonizers uh, to maintain this order, um, this disorder, this chaos, this dysfunction, this destabilization, you know, we want our country back. And these things are being shown to you as corruption, they're being shown to you as war, they're being shown to you as poverty, and they're going to show you that, <laughs> but they don't show you the luxury, they don't show you the lifestyle, they don't show you the culture, they don't show you the family, community connections, they don't show you the spirituality, they don't show you the beautiful, amazing landscapes, they don't show you the amazing, decadent, non-chemicalized, non-lab-grown meat, they don't show you that. They show you the things that feed into your already existent fear of the continent and it's keeping you stuck. It's keeping you stuck in your own country where all of these things are actually happening as well, where homelessness is at an all time high, where the wealth gap is at an all time high, where crime, uh, gun laws, mental health, um, mass shootings, all of these things are happening in your home country, yet you're so afraid to explore what life could look like outside of that space because of what the media, the same media that is keeping you low vibrational, <laughs> 
or keeping you in a state of fear so that they can sell you things, so they can sell you guns, um, so that they can sell you contraptions for your baby. I was looking at videos from when my youngest daughter was an infant and I was looking at all the things that I had this swing, this chair, this teething ring, this play thing, this bassinet, this crib, this wrap. I was looking at all of those things that I had for her that she barely used, that I passed on to another mom that were barely used. And I just thought, wow, they keep us in this state so that we consume all of these things so that we buy these things to protect us or protect our children when in actuality, the real protection is in an environment of safety, not this false sense of safety that we use by getting in a gated community or buying a luxury vehicle or you know, the proximity to whiteness that makes us feel safe. So um, life is good here in South Africa. Life is good here in Johannesburg. I feel safe. I feel um, more aware. I definitely have a different level of awareness than I did, you know, six months ago versus when I got here. Um, it's been now nine months, going on 10 months since I've been. So coming up on celebrating a year, I'm going to be doing that in a major way. Um, but life is good. And I invite you to explore the fear that's keeping you stuck, the fear of um war the fear of corruption the fear of crime the fear that is happening in your own home country that you are seeing online on the media on the news that is keeping you from exploring a place that is your abundant birthright i invite you um so if that resonated with you like it Share it with someone else who would find value in it. And until the next video, I'll see you soon.